Good evening, Zimbabwe. You are listening to Studio 7 from the Voice of America in Washington. And this is Live Talk. I am Kip Stube. And I'm Marvelous Nklanganya Huye, broadcasting from my home in Washington, D.C., due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Tonight on Live Talk, we are talking about COVID-19 and the removal of Chief Justice Malaba from office. Almost 600,000 people have so far received their first dose of COVID-19 vaccine in Zimbabwe, and at least 215,000 have received their second jab. Zimbabwe has so far recorded over 40,000 COVID-19 cases uh, since the pandemic started in March last year. And to date, over 1,500 people have succumbed to the disease. And in politics, a lot is happening after the removal of Chief Justice Malaba from office following a High Court ruling declaring as null and void his extension of his office term by five years. The court ruled that he cannot be a beneficiary of the Zimbabwe Constitution Amendment Act No. 2, which was passed by an overwhelming parliamentary majority in both houses. And uh, the government has since filed an appeal against the nullification of Malaba's extended term while lawyers are representing the applicants say Justice Minister Ziambi Ziambi should be taken to court to face charges of contempt of court after he made what they call disparaging remarks following the High Court uh, court judgment. Observers say the government is in a fix as 16 uh, Supreme Court judges I sat it in the matter filed by the Young Lawyers Association of Zimbabwe, a war veteran and the Zimbabwe Human Rights NGO Forum. And the lawyers representing the director of the Zimbabwe Human Rights NGO Forum say Ziambi Ziambi broke the law when he attacked Justice Hepias Joe, Edith Mushore, and Justice Jesta Charewa, who made the High Court ruling. Tabani Pofu is one of the lawyers representing Musa Kika. Yes, before we go to Mr. Tabani Pofu, we have a COVID-19 office in the office of 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 the office so, Why five years? Of Zimbabwe, no more law in Pierculeo, like at the Vimbilacona Alessi, Kunziba, Loko Zala, so our Funuti, a Umalaba, a service in Gelangena, Gonapo. So Sabonagi, a Bolava Mele, is Zimbabwe, a NTO forum, a Ababalisa Mums and Tabani Pofu, a bar corner as William of Kunue, the minister Ziambi Ziambi, Abati Ukulmitazo, as a Ticona, a Amachachis, a Gavazanga Benzing and Fanello. So Uti Konoko Abago Tulayo, a Gumel Uti Rogo Tulay was Yambi Zambi, Gumel Tokambelem Tutandaba. I plan on the Konokoma churches, Ogotuagi, the contempt of court. So we are watching a Kulu, a Ukotalabo, a Elmele, a Umosa Kika Lel. So it was a way and Jaro, a Ukulumende, who said file a appeal, you would the high pillar, Malaba Kituang and Panel, so Mele Abuele, a school Jenisaki. So again, Uko Wonke Loko. So I COVID-19 locking pogile, kwela Zimbabwe, lomo kwa laba antoba pupile yi zolo, kwa ya nzani ki, baluchu wani, wato laka lebele COVID-19. Kuna siya wazi taba antoba fika posa 600,000, seba tla choko kala, yi cheksen, yi ngavela, yi umemeteka yi COVID-19. Mbosu kusi taba yi 215,000, seba tla choko spili. So wage yi COVID-19 layo, lu taba, olu kwa na kona po mavelas, yi singati, singati yanga yanga ngalo. So siya wana ki yi mavelas ute, yi abu ya kona manje, so
so kanya kunenga kulu e okwenzakala so ke siyabona ukuthi e kungazani kukhona kungani ukuhlupha emtshini wethu kodwa sibona ngazani sakuqhubekela phambili silokhe sidonsa donsa khona apha e sicela ukuthi bonke abakhona e babambe khona apho e bangayikhatshana ngoba sibona ngazani amakakasi yethu kabambi ngemfanele kodwa ke sibona ngazani kungalunga e wathi sibona ukuthi kuminjani khona manje ye so mbona ngazani hayi amakakasi yethu aselungile so ke sekhansa ke ngakhona ku okwenzakala ebantwini so kula khona ku ukuthi abantu bahlathu Jackson sike sizwe umama okhulumela ezatshisa sibanda kukhona ngale ke esomnene sizwe ukuthi uteni ngodaba lololu kula covid 19 nangulapha Oh, yes, to the Pinam, that's it. Let's have you know, I shall you know, Babuela, eh, Babuela, footing Saka. Liz was in such a whole show. I was uncle with the show, Vela, I was uncle for work and your poor Sava and he was uncle with the show, Benjan. Uncle Corona, but in the Beka, I was all about Tumba. I want to Corona, Calabang and Bow. ว่าว่าวิเตรีแล้วก็ตายทําดีบ้างโอ้คนเสียบ้างแล้วคนเสียบ้างอ่าอีกทีเสียบอีกเงี้ยเสียบอยากไปคนก็ตายลิงก์เ
So if you look at this, the 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 application against um, uh, the uh, the uh, the government here was actually misdirected again. Uh, the people who made this law possible was not uh, Malaba. Malaba did not sit in parliament. It was the parliament. So these people were supposed to cite the parliament in their case. But in actual fact, the 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 uh, problem we had here. They did not cite uh, the, the parliament. They decided to cite um, um, the, the people who benefited and not the people who brought up the change. So just um, the, the uh, Mr. Kika, whatever his name was, um, was represented by advocate Mpof, um, cited a number of um, uh, 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 judges, which is actually unheard of. You could not cite a judge in a case he has not contributed to its happening. The, the judges were, uh, about 19 other judges were cited, including the Minister of Justice and um, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the JSC. So we, we look at that. The, there was a need for this case to cite um, the Parliament, the Senate, and the President. But and let's, not... let's, let's stop at that. Let's stop at that and then bring in a uh, human rights lawyer, uh, Mr. Ngobani Stolle. Welcome to the program, Mr. Stolle. Mr. Stolle, welcome to the program. Can you unmute uh, your button and come in? Hello, Mr. Stolle. I think he's still there, but uh, I think his button is muted. So, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. So while he's doing that, let's bring in Mr. Tabani Mpofu. Yeah, there he is. So, Mr. Mpofu, uh, Mr. Stolle, go ahead. I think we heard what Mr. Dr. Mabazo was saying. You know, what's your take on the, 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 the case? I, I hardly heard. But one of the things that um, uh, I, I got to understand from him is that uh, there was uh, a, a misjoinder of parties. And uh, that uh, certain individuals should have been joined in. As, uh, as, as respondent to that uh, application. Well, uh, I, I don't think that a misdoing, as I say, in terms of the rules of the High Court, will lead to a, a matter being uh, uh, not had as it were. Look, um, I, I understand where the, the disgruntlement is coming from, but at the end of the day, the applicants made an application and they sought um, uh, a request from individuals that they cited. And uh, the fact that certain individuals were not going in in that application does not make that case fast at all. Uh, I, I hold a different view. Fine, appealing to the Supreme Court is within their rights, but the declaratory order was met. So before one talks about appealing, we have to be candid with each other. They must make an application for leave to appeal because it was a declaratory order and therefore, there is no automatic right of appeal. So they are set before an appeal can be met. And uh, look, I know one would want to make an application within two seconds of the dark case. But uh, an order has been met, and if that order must be respected, regardless of who the parties are, it has to be respected. Uh, I'll, I'll take a, a step further and, and say that uh, the Comments that were made by the Minister of Justice after an order was made by the High Court is unfortunate. Yes, so uh, just hold on there. Uh, marvelous. Um. Kunawa Jango for Pindam Chirong, what no chinga meets a ine mufaro, a nasim swim of Ruk, a nasi changet to Kukurkura, Supam Soroped and the COVID nineteen, as it starts as a carriage and quit Tika, Munyaya, Zesh, and Matongi, Rue, and Nika, the Gaiti Patayenda, Kuneva, and Yarikan, and the Varpano, a doctor Mavaza, Jamila Shaka Dai, a Murkona's cheese of Pedassi. Um, right, thank you. Do not you think this could a decision by the High Court can be appealed in law. And therefore, uh, the uh, government, uh, rather not the government's part, but Vamalaba, uh, they've come together with their lawyers and they are appealing this decision. So which means, uh, this, uh, this decision, you know, 
pane dambu dzikuri mune chete riri pore kuti tingadai tari tarisa tari ongorora ino fandwa kuenda kudare riri pamsoro kukura high court che kutanga majaji ese emata edare riri pamsoro riri pamsoro pedare riri mbiro riri mtemo ino zi constitutional court evese vari part to this application they have been cited saka ni hati mange mazgi vari conflicted vari kunzi avago niku zutonga nyaya ya vari iyo ya vari kupomewa saka ni wakaya zozo hakuna judge arimu zimbabu arimu habasa iko zunezu pama tani arifa msoro arikuwa sako zunga nyaya hii saka zore wakuti cha haku itika pa haku itika zunu ziviri che kutanga e anga ari deputy chief justice anu baaita by the operation of law anu baaita acting chief justice kana achinga aku acta chief justice anu vumirwa ni mutemo kusaruza majaji kana kupromota majaji ea high court kuti apidem constitutional court kana kusaruza majaji agasi ya basa kuti apidem constitutional court agonterera apiu ii. Apiu ii nekuti ya ita wala pamsoro pepu bilo ni mutemo ya tingati a constitutional case. Ayi nzugikuwe ni Supreme Court. Ino nzugikuwe, ino enda ku constitutional court. Kana apiu ikinga ya itwa ika iskwa nasi pambiripe matare iwayo. Zato rewa kuti decision ni edari re high court ino mbo sende kwa kusika apiuli ya nzugikwa. Zore wa shakari kutivama laba wa chamboraba wa ripa basa kusika apiuli ya nzugikwa. Saka pane kukaka wadza na kuripo ni wamu waruta ayo wa wama laba wadzo kere pa basa kusika kese ya nzugikwa. Mutemo unoti kana mchinge maita apiu. Pa apiuli ya maita nyaya ya mapomeru wanayo kana mutemo wa gaziru kana kuti decision ya hitu wa nedari ino mbo sende kwa baru TV, it does not have an effect kusikila apiri ya nzugikwa number one. Number two, tila uti nzugikwa chini chepiri, decision ya kaitu wane ya high court. Aina effect iko zuna yuzu, aina cha ino shanda kwa nasi, kusikila ya wandu uzgwa, ni dare le pa msoro, ya tinga it must be confirmed by the constitutional court. Saka aisati ya wandu uzgwa, ni dare le pa msoro. Saka za suno rewa nisuwe kuti, Tichiri patanga tiri pe kutanga Atina watinoti uyundie awina Atina watinoti ndia arusa Asi decision taizu kwa taona kwa karele kira fungwa Zewato ngiwe high court But chiri okosha ndike kuti Mutemo kana do whatever they've decided Azisati zawa kushanda na asi Kana mangwana kusikira Darele pa msoro soro la zivanduza Chepiri chana nigo di pindure hii Yeah, just briefly, yes. Yeah, anga, sawiro wangu watu ndakanga na wazitara ke... Stole, stole. Stole, wa stole wati yu, ningrikini, masoko, emu, enguru kota, rezu mutemo, anu nyangaza, kana kuti anu shora dari. Ayu, wa stole wa wana kuzugisi isa, kana da wana kuwe renga masoko, a minister. I think if I die, I'm going to go up and 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 I'm going to go up Aina kuti the court is compromised. Ari kuti iye, dare nenge ranye nge tezwa, ne mbunge munu. Kino itika mudare in every court, dare rino do nge tezwa, ne mbunge munu, ne mbunge gweta, ne mbunge rudu. Thank you. Saka you persuade the court to give a decision. Saka the fact that the court was persuaded, it is not in itself contemptuous. Thank you so much. Babu Stole, umpendu lenge sindebele, umpendu lenge sindebele, umpendu lenge lenge skiwa, briefly babu, ngena kona po Stole. Yeah, but first of all, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to respond. Right. Yeah. I, think, uh, I hold a different view with the last recorder. The High Court did not make an order of constitutional invalidity. 
as contemplated by Section 175 of the Constitution. It only made a declaration on the position of Malawa and his fellow judges in terms of a construction it rendered on the law. So if, if you're talking about uh, the, the, the High Court making a declaration and that the Constitutional Court must then make a, a declaration of validity or otherwise, I, I think we have all the different views, right? That's the first thing. The second thing, I am saying it is practically impossible for the, uh, for the respondents who are going to be applicants in this matter, for them to make an application for an appeal, because that was a declaratory order. In a declaratory order, you make an application for leave to appeal before you appeal. So if ever they want to say Malawa should be in office today because they have appealed, it is practically impossible to them with the law. So uh, I know that uh, there are certain individuals that want Malawa and the constitution, you know, to be very minded so that they remain in office. We are saying that should be stopped. It doesn't take any amount. And if one thing, the, the statement that were made by the Minister of Justice, who is supposed to be the custodian of law, one of the people to be custodians of law, that statement is correct. Then, us, what says us all? He cannot make that kind of statement after the court has made a decision. You talk about the ninth court, the ninth judges, and you say that is not contentious. It, it, that is clear. We are being reduced to a banana republic. That is contentious, and I, I hope that you will be facing music very soon. Yes. Right. Any which we would be in high court. That is wrong and so the appeal is not it does it set aside uh, the ruling? No, very many I will appeal. I need to. He appealed what it has to be done. He declared it as a high court. Why is high court is it declared a You make an application for me to appeal before you file an appeal. I need to. Then after in the Zoom case, when I was not a woman, I need to. Yeah, okay. It's good one. Because I think we've got. A, an interview that was done by one of our correspondents in Arare, uh, you know, or the correspondent actually attended a press conference uh, which was being addressed by uh, advocate Tabani, uh, Tabani Mpofu. Let's hear what uh, came out of that uh, press conference. The 19th respondent indicated that those are still the The position is that the High Court issued a declarator or a declaratory order as was sought by our consultant, Dr. Musaki. Whilst an appeal can, all things being equal, be lodged against a declarator, the position in law, the position in law is that an appeal does not suspend the operation of a declarator. The registrar of the high court 
uh, it is made to the attention of the judge president. Uh, it is copied to the honorable judges who had the matter. If you recall, uh, for, for some of you, while it's called explicit, uh, that we've been down this road before. Chinamasa, uh, there's a judgment of the Supreme Court which is called in the Chinamasa, which deals with these issues. We are of the view that the circumstances of the matter detect that the procedure set out in Chinamasa be activated. And because we have an interest which arises at two level, number one, our consultant was the successful litigant in that litigation. Number two, we are officers of the court. We have an interest in having the veracity of those issues dealt with, the effects of the allegations raised by the minister dealt with. Uh, we have an interest in ensuring that the minister is required to establish the, the credibility of the assertions that he has made. Because we realize that it is an impact on judicial independence. We realize that it is an impact on the integrity of the courts. We insist on the observance of the Constitution. We have thought these things through. Uh, we you know what may or may not happen. And we are prepared to fight not only in defense of consultants who instructed us in this matter, but in defense of the Constitution of Zimbabwe, in defense of the found, founding values on which that Constitution is based, in defense of constitutionalism, in defense of the rule of law, in defense of the principles that uh, underpin our democracy and critically, in defense of judicial independence <laughs> Nekuda kwe mtongo wakapiwa ni high court e, Mitongo ino ya nezira za kasiana Uyu mando ye mtongo uyu Kana uchinge wapiwa Kunyangu mkai pizza Kudarele kumsoro Unongo ramba Uchishanda Mtongo yu Nekuda kwa yesuzo e, Vahe mbova mkuru Kwe watongi e, Vahe nzi chief justice malaba Avachazi muofisi Saka ofisi ya tuwa kwa hiko zinu Na wanonzi eh, acting chief justice kwa onza Taka virenga eh, nekukazi kwa kukuru eh, Saka nyorwa ne, na minister of justice Kwa ziyambi ziyambi Tatisu so atisikuda kutawara pa msoro penya ayo hii Tiripanze, tichirwisana E, tishita ngata wana singa zesu wa kuita Ni kudawa kutu nyeadza wakata wala zihu hombe Isu tinofunga kutu waka shudza dara Ni kudawa kwa yesu zuta tonyo wala kudara Kutu darire wa shedze Wa uye kuzo tsanangura pamso, pamberepe dara Kutu isu wakata wala shino shudza hire Kana kutashe shudza dara Kana dara yaka ona kuti Isu wakata wala shino, shino rishudza e, Robara chipindura mbunzo yukuti Wano kuna kupiwa mtongo waka amirase. Nekuda kwa hizo, zese zaka tauri wana minister ziyami. E, Tunuda kutitino, zi tauri ran, tiri muda. Ndo yanga ili pebos, ili press conference. So there you are, marvelous uh, uh, Mr. Advocate Tabani Mpofu. Uh, he's actually outlining exactly what is going on, you know. And yeah, he says that case is still there, you know, it's like, the appeal is not going to set aside, you know, the, the, the high court ruling. So it remains exactly as it is. So uh, let's bring in uh, Dr. Mavaza because this is a very contentious issue. Uh, Dr. Mavaza, what's your reaction to what uh, Advocate Bob is saying? Um, unless you can summarize it, I didn't hear a thing of what... Yeah, okay, so all what you are saying is that uh, even if uh, the, the government appeals, uh, the, the, the ruling stands. And at the end of the day, that's exactly what they are focusing on right now. And he also mentioned the fact that, uh, you know, when uh, these matters actually sent in court, especially the Ziambi 
Ziabi case, uh, you know, is somehow uh, some kind of contempt of court. And that issue should be brought before the courts. Uh, there, there, there are two things um, we need to, have to, to understand here. Firstly, uh, Gibbs, a declaratory order um, is an order by which a dispute over the existence of um, some legal right or some law uh, or entitlement is uh, resolved. So when it is resolved and the other part believes that the right resolved is wrong, he has a right to appeal to a higher court to have an opinion of the higher court over the declaration made by the other court. So the right can be existing, can be prospective, and can be uh, contingent. So uh, Advocate uh, Tabanimpov, uh, uh, I don't agree with him. I, I, I don't agree with his view that this is not appealable. It is definitely appealable. Number one. And number two, that's where the bone of contention is. As we speak, one, the moment the appeal is filed, the, the, the declaratory order is not effective. Secondly, the declaratory order But, is but according, to, according to uh, 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 attorney Nobane Stole and uh, advocate Tabani Mpofu, you know, it, it still remains. According to them, you know. Why do you differ yeah. here in terms of you know, this kind of thing. The, the law is very clear in this case. The law says any judgment by a high court is appealable. It is subject to be appealed. This can be appealed in the higher court, higher than the high court. The only uh, decision you cannot appeal is a decision of the constitutional court. But the decision of the high court is appealed. It, it is appealable, and therefore that view that it cannot be appealable. No, they are not saying they are not saying it's, it's not appealable. That, that's a fact is appealable, but yes, it, it this what they've done, what the government has done, does not set aside the ruling. That's where the argument is. No, that's that's where the argument is. The, the, I, the, this is what we are saying. There is the moment you appeal, the ruling is set aside. Just hold on, hold on there, hold on. There. Uh, Mr. Stole, can you chip in? Can you chip in here? Can you unmute your button, uh, Mr. Stole, and, and, and chip in? Thank you very much. Fine. I, I, I agree that uh, the decision of the High Court can be appealed to the Supreme Court. That is elementary. But now, we must generalize this aspect. We must look at this particular case that we have. If we agree that the order that was given by the High Court is a declaration, then the question that follows is, how do you appeal a declaration? The answer is simple. You appeal a declaration after you have made an application for leave to appeal. And I am saying that has not been done. One can make an application for appeal, but the question is, which shall that appeal be in terms of the law? I hold a different view. That's the first thing. The second thing that is, uh, is going to give us a headache in Zimbabwe as of now is the constitutional crisis that has been created in this place. You are appealing to a superior court whose judge is a part of litigate. Whether you like it or not, they have got an interest because they are cited as a respondent. Whether they filed notices of opposition or not is one thing for another day. So, the net effect of it is that the moment an appeal is placed before the Supreme Court, those that are being accused of doing something should be defined over that. So, there is a constant crisis again. So, the whole issue of Malawa and the factors surrounding it. You know, it's got a serious bearing on our constitutional democracy going forward. Hmm. Fire is indivisible. Was told. No one is going to go. Who can lend to us in business? Can you lend us one? Who can say a woman? He is not the high court in this decision. He said he said no. He declared. Now, as a woman, can you express a certain emphasis? He declared that he will appeal and die. The Supreme Court. Nina Nisi. 
we appeal and we call and we will judge and allow and we declare it. We are going to move. Let's go to the next level. Leave to appeal. We see to is this that we do why you can we appeal against the decision there. And in this instance, we make a decision. Go to all who need to know what to do. So, eh, all who need to know, you know, all who need to know. In Supreme Court, I'm a judge. The Supreme Court, our constitutional court. You are my judge. It's always very decision against the Mgapa High Court. We are still in Janigivo. We go to work as well. We in Java. I in Java. If Java, I buy it. So that's fine. Then we have a substitute. We have a problem in the constitution yet. Oh, the application the High Court. It will not matter. It's the Supreme Court. No matter. It's the constitutional court. Kaba we have High Court. We have to go. Na loko ulala wa 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 Joking of Nava Mavasa, Trukuns was with Utawa, Navas Tolle, we as Jay Tans, was on Gashu Utawa, Navatabani and Hofu, Asimi Murkuti, Amusku Vidana, Navo, say Murda. But a Vatabani Pofu Navas Tolle, Vari Kutaura, Maf, Grau Emutemo, Chakanakra Mutemo, Maf, and the Kuta, Kuna, Chinons each, the Chiri right, Kanatuka, a good Zira Mutemo, Luzero Emutemo. You know, doctors are going to use only the pamphlet paper to hang. But that you create a bunch of good things, but they are not zero. Never to hang your high court. But that you create more catch corrupt. As the nyaya ya ya ma vunza, they are going to suck and watch corrupt. But they are not going to suck and watch corrupt. But they are not going to suck and watch corrupt. But they are not going to suck and watch corrupt. Mutemo urukuva wano wano tsekenyeza mbirore mutemo mini kuti the declaratory action affects the constitutional uh, constitutionalism of that section and therefore their declaration is it, it, it amounts to a change of a, a, a section of a constitution and by so doing it cannot uh, uh, be valid until it is confirmed which as uh, Tole is not agreeing with me but the reality of the matter is that. So the the, the declaratory uh, uh, made uh, affects the law, and so it changes the law because it changes the law. The declaratory order no is not valid until it is confirmed. Now the second point, the 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 Tanangwezakari. Zino sanga nisira chekutanga kuti vatongi vatatu ya high court. Vaka gara dare, vaki gaza mambo dare. Mutema hauvu miri kuti varipasi pa mambo, vatonge mambo. Mambo hatonge eke. Saka this, the, the high court could not in, uh, in itself hear a case concerning the Supreme Court and the Constitutional Court which is above them. So, but so do you mean, uh, uh, Doctor Mavaz, do you mean that if 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 there's something that is wrong uh, pertaining to the Chief Justice, in no court of law can actually adjudicate on that matter? This was not Chief Justice in person; it was his office. Uh, we, we must we must be clear that we the case is not against Malaba as a person; the case is against his office and decision taken by Parliament and Senate. So what happens in this matter? Because these three judges, they look forward to be promoted to go where Malaba is. So they've got an interest, whether we can say it or not, but there is an interest. They know by Malaba going and 19 other judges, their chances of getting into that position is very high. So they have an interest. So in order of justice, because for justice to be done, it must not only be done, it must be seen to have been done. So how do you see that justice has been done? These three were supposed to recuse themselves and ask the, 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 uh, uh, the, the process or the, the uh, judge president to appoint retired judges to sit in um, and hear this matter. And if this was done, then there will be no issue as of bias. We can uh, try to say the courts have got its integrity. 
Yes, the court has an integrity, but the persons who are sitting in the court, they stand to benefit from their own judgment because they are creating a vacancy in the Supreme Court and in the Constitutional Court. And if you say that, people think you are being contemptuous. This is the fact. A, 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 the, the justice show is a just and 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 uh, and, uh, and uh, justice um, uh, Charewa and the other. The mm. the three of them they know very well, and it's not a secret that if the Supreme Court becomes vacant and if the um, uh, constitutional court becomes vacant, they stand more better chances of being appointed into those positions. So therefore, we cannot lie and hide behind the law and say there's no interest. They had interest. Yeah, and so, it is embarrassing, yeah. actually, that Justice Joe refused to recuse himself when an application of his recusal was made. And he actually, after refusing, he was the one chairing a decision on whether he should continue or not. Yes, let's after let's... He continues. It is, it is the law. After saying he's, he's continuing, he became the chair of the panel of those three judges. And that alone is, is, is it's a, another point of appealing. That's an appealable decision. And again, so we are in appeal, we are saying the three judges had an interest in this matter, had a vested interest, and therefore should not have stood or sat in there as judges in this case. Yeah, okay. Again, just... The last thing which I told would answer yes. is these three judges did not tell us who appointed the three of them. Why three? High court always have one judge. This was a normal application. There was nothing uh, um, uh, uh, fun about this application. Why three judges? Who appointed the three? And number two, did they sit as high court? Okay. If they did. Oh. Their decision can be appealed. Well done. They sit as the constitutional court who appointed them. So there are so many uh, gray areas in this matter which will become clear. Unfortunately, there are some issues we cannot discuss at this stage because the matter is ongoing. And it becomes a uh, condemn. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Stolle knows that. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Stolle. Can you chip in here, especially on this issue concerning the sixteen judges that we have, that are respondents? And you say it is a constitutional crisis right now. So, if this case goes ahead, who is going to preside over it? Because here, as you say, as as you said, uh, Mr. Stolle, we are looking at a constitutional crisis. Quiet, uh, Mr. Stolle. Right. Um, you know, at times, certain decisions are made, and which decisions have got a serious bearing on the on our constitution. Uh, well, there, there are quite a lot of issues that uh, the honourable doctor has just made reference to. But still, you see, it depends on which kind of defence you are looking at. It. And uh, a recusal cannot be just but automatic. You know, uh, there's the reason why. If that is head to that matter, it is because those judges that have been cited, there is a relief spot against the air. And surely, you just cannot recuse yourself even if you feel you, you, are, you, are not, you are not compromised. Are they compromised? That's the question. It depends on which side of the case you're looking at it. And from where I stand, I don't think there was going to be any recusal, even if I was going to be sitting on, the, on that bench. I was not going to recuse myself. I was going to deal with the issues of law. Right? But if a judgment has come, the only thing that one has to do is to believe that you, 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 you have got a good case, you appeal to the Superior Court. Here is the catch. Which Superior Court is those that are not happy about the decision going to appeal to? Because let's face it. This is what is before us. We are no longer going to be theorizing about this. Practically, the judges of the Supreme Court are litigants. The judges of the Constitutional Court are litigants. What do you appeal to? Is this not a constitutional crisis? Where is our president? Did he manage to uphold the Constitution as provided for in terms of the Constitution? Well, for a serious, this thing has got a serious bearing on our legal standing, on our democratic principles as we speak right now. And I am saying, whether there are three judges or ten judges, had it been that the decision went right in favor of them, could they be saying this today? Definitely not. Hmm. So, uh, I, am saying, I am saying to me, there is nothing amiss with that. The High Court has made a decision. Yes. The decision that has been made by the High Court up until 
city has been overturned is binding. We have got a duty. All citizens, including Ziambi Ziambi, the Honorable the, the Honorable Minister of Justice, should not threaten the the judge. Should not make you know. At the end of the day, that was shocking. I was shocked. Really. Yes. So still, we are going to see to back. We are going to Yes, you would show it up and put it in the by by changing the key. What can always be also when I get a good own right to wear the truth. I would be the Supreme Court in Skumangayo. You got to be strong up. Guys, 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 According to Stolle, is who is going to preside over this issue? He says definitely this is a constitutional crisis. Uh, no, the, the law has always covered that part. Where there are no judges in the constitutional court, or the judges are not enough, the the the, the acting chief justice um, will appoint judges or elevate judges into the Supreme Court or into the Constitutional Court, or they can, you can elevate retired ju senior judges in that position, and they will sit as a Constitutional Court to deal with that constitutional mess. When it is done, we go back to normalcy. But however, this is... Uh, how independent can that be? You know, like somebody is handpicking some of these people, you know? Uh, life is like that. People are handpicked by people who probably uh, have an interest or they don't have an interest. The problem we are having here is to think that the case of Chief Justice Malaba mm. is the case for ZANU PF. No, it is not. It is an, a, a very legal issue. It's an issue of law. The Chief Justice, of course, is appointed by the President. It does not mean that he is appointee if he's, if, if he's removed. It, 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 it reflects badly on him. No, it doesn't. We, we, we move on. It is not him who is being removed. So in other words, whether the president appoints another, appoints another uh, 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 set of judges, it does not mean that they are biased. We, we, we have got that belief of our judges not to be biased. But the point we are raising here is that, um, I will answer story right now. If this judgment has gone a wrong way, and if MDC um, um, uh, uh, sponsored uh, applicants have actually appealed against this judgment, we will be looking at the points of law, not at the points of politics. Under the law, is it not biased for a man who is looking forward to your position to, 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 to deal about uh, your matter, whether you should remain there or not? The answer is clearly that the man would rather kick you out quickly so that he, he, he takes the position. We all know the position of, this, of the three judges, of all the judges of the High Court. When you come a judge of the High Court, you don't intend to die there. You want to move on. You want to be the judge president. You want to be in the Supreme Court. You want to be in the Constitutional Court. It is not by coincidence that all the other judges have been cited except the, the judge president. This has been a planned program so that by the time they they, they uh, um, uh, cite all the other judges, they leave the judge president so that he will be having the opportunity to appoint the three, three judges um, of his choice to sit in this matter and hear this matter. This happened. And when this happened, it is under investigation, it will come out. What then happens thereafter, the government and those involved are appealing. They have got a right to do so. They have a right to appeal. This is not a fight uh, of a political uh, a muscle. It is a legal muscle. Unfortunately, people always think anything which goes against the president becomes political. The moment he becomes a president, he stops from being Zanipe for those five years. He is Zimbabwean leader. And it is Zimbabwe which is dealing with such issues. These yeah, are thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. 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 Thank you.
imimu se batoreza no PF Parisino kana kuti tongoti makamirira muchitaura se ve hurumende munoona zvichadi mune ramangwana um kana kana appeal ichinga yaitwa sezvo chaiswa nasi kana mangwana mangwana ani vapedza kunyora isusu tino tinotenda pamutemo kuti mutemo unobva vataura kuti vese vapomedzwa mosaidzi vanodzogera pamabasa avo and the uh kusigra nyai chigi ya tongo. Saga nyai inozo pera bus ya sati ya pera. Ija zo garwa dare guru ma ma watongi wega wega nema nema gweta au akisimuka. Takatari sira e mau kuona kuti musuno nzi nyaya kutongwa hi. Tunoko na kuona dare rizere ma ma gweta anupura 23. Each a respondent and a lawyer wake. In this case, it was an urgent application. Pagago, I can't a scramble a lawyer good to go farmer. But the way the things are going, this case is not going to take one day or two days. It's going to take a long time, maybe three, four years. Amendment one is still in the Nasa 2017. It's not good. The, the courts are slow. The situations are very technical. So this is going to take a long time. But the articles of Mira with Mutemo Ufambe, Urumende Nengayata, Zakushanda. Kana ika sa isa mutemo mm -hmm. into motion. Yaka mira zune zune. Saka zune zucha ramba zifamba. Ende zucha zuku zuku ende ramberi. Atis kutombu wanada mudzigo. Riku gazirika. Ma, matongi wanafada kunge wajizu saruzwa. Wacha saruzwa. Kana apiru chinge ya itwa. Thank you very much uh, Dr. Mavaza. I think uh, uh, Mr. Ngobani Stole has actually dropped out because of his phone. So we'll stop here today uh, concerning this matter. And marvelous for just uh, the next five minutes. Let's talk about basketball. We know that there's this uh, big uh, a kind of event in Kigali, that is in Rwanda, where the Basketball Africa League kicked off yesterday. And we saw the Patriots, you know, beating a team from Nigeria. Uh, you know, it was a big game, and many games are continuing right now. There are 12 teams that are participating in, in the tournament. So, again, Zulu Hola mtanje, uchile lule tu le live talk. Muna singa hapo mkwa napa mavila saite an interview with Joe Mchuru. He is the Basketball Union of Zimbabwe's president. Let's listen to what he said about this tournament and basketball in general. Look, the Basketball Africa League is an excellent initiative by the NBA and FIBA. Uh, we believe that uh, it's going to bring a lot of value to to, to the game in terms of um, uh, visibility, uh, not just in our country, but certainly in the whole continent. Uh, there is certainly going to be a lot of visibility. There is going to be a lot of uh, superstars that will be made out of this year. Um, and uh, the investment that the APA and the team have done in this competition is such that and you can't ignore this competition moving forward. Uh, it's just our hope silently as uh, as Zimbabwe and Bar that we, that, uh, that this competition also spreads to the female edition because we are also seeing a situation where the women's game is being left behind fully because now we are seeing a shift in terms of investment uh, from the club, directors and owners where there is a need or at first then to want to be involved with the BL and more resources being channeled there and uh, we are uh, hoping that very soon uh, we have a similar investment in the women's league. Otherwise, then, uh, the, the, you know, the difference would be then too much for us to, to make a national sacrifice. But otherwise, I think it's an excellent thing and it's bringing a lot of value, not just to us, but to, to Africa as well. Do you think that there will be some emerging stars, you know, out of, uh, you know, all this uh, from Africa? No doubt. They have, uh, listen, um, there is no way that they will the new stars of Africa from, from this initiative. Uh, it is designed in such a way that there will be stars. Uh, and it's also designed in such a way that uh, basketball in Africa is going to be big, as big as football, if you ask me, keep it a couple of years. Uh, it's going to be as big as football. Already, when you look at the size of, 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 of leagues, the NBA as a league is as, is as big as um, most of the European leagues anyway. So even back home here, you'll find that, that basketball is the second largest sport in Zimbabwe by participation, by the way, yeah, after men's football. Um, on participation on the ground, whether it's in the school or club level, uh, in numbers, you then find that basketball is the second largest, way above most of the sports codes. Um, 
but behind men's football. So, and this is mainly to do with the level of exposure that the NBA has. And it also speaks at uh, the work that is being done in the background, not just locally, but internationally, in terms of uh, the, the, the size. So now when you brought the NBA to everybody's doorstep in, in Africa, you expect that there will be superstars that will be paid, and there will be people who want to get involved. Yeah. And definitely here you are saying that the uh, NBA is very popular in Africa, right? No doubt about it. The NBA is the most popular basketball league in the world. Uh, Africa is no exception. So now, uh, what's your last word on, you know, the basketball Africa league? Give us your last word. Uh, look, we are excited that this is going to take it off. Uh, we don't want to cut off it directly, uh, but we are excited that uh, the panels are finally taken off and we are happy for everybody and all the work that has happened behind the scenes. We are happy for, for FIBA for, for achieving this because we ultimately are also, uh, we are FIBA as well. We are happy for, 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 for everybody. And uh, these finals are just upon that. Um, we want this to happen and everybody is behind it. And we are looking forward, like I said, to the qualifiers for the second edition. And uh, we are ready to also send our representatives. And uh, rest assured, this time next year when we get the finals of the next, um, you know, of, of, of this competition, we will be represented. Uh, and uh, we also continue to implore the community. You know, the game is more than those people that are directly involved. We want to implore the government and then, um, the civic society, uh, corporate, and uh, you and me as well to get in there and, and get involved in sports. So not basketball in particular, but all sports, and uh, to support it. That's the only way that you know, we have to achieve the results of the nation. Marvela, so that is uh, Joe Munchuru. Uh, you know, Joe Munchuru is the president of the Zimbabwe uh, Basketball Union. So, okay, we'll have to give school again, Joe Munchuru. Joe Munchuru, who is the basketball Union of Zimbabwe. He is a was who took a manje, Kulem Lalo, a basketball Africa League, Kulamaleke Ekikali, a Gule Rwanda, Kulama Kembo I twelve, a Konale, Angilana, Ogunyo Malesa. His old Sponge Kembo, Le Rwanda, a Lingova Kembo, Le Nigeria. So gave Kalazan Guacuba, a Lamplange, Guabe Gilana, Kotoge, the Kumbule Uti, the Lakuti Lingene, a Lani Bugere. So, I was mm -hmm. so, Kutaura Kurkita Gibbs, Pane, Makuiki, Arkutambo, Iwo Parisino, a cookie gali Kurwanda, Makuiki, a basketball, a second Kawana, Mukana, Wash, a carry Kutaura, na Eva, Eva, Vamujuru, Vanova, Iwo, Mutunga Miri, we basketball association of Zimbabwe, the gatings were to write it. First of all, to know for an opportunity to get out to be part of this competition from my qualifiers, can I do my team? I do mercenaries, I get a good job in South Africa. Yeah, very well. Unfortunately, I want to come to South Africa, Rwanda, we go play my finals. I see that as a competition, it's long and too long. We have an opportunity to Rwanda, my athletes, I do. So long, we are not going to go under to my team. They don't put a red to eat a eat out to put a red to cool and return to my major participation. A Rwanda as well. I turn on the each other bring a level of professionalism into my teams and uh, the way my teams are going to pull a rational towards obviously in my rewards in my incentives. A Rwanda, no, it's a good one. What can you say? Who prepare our tournaments? I can say as well. Kutiva smooth zero for us. Materials are kosher. Take some water is about the motors and Makura. We are how much the tournament you know going to be to offer the eat a vision. Emma's my and the Wuti to know now is given to my actual gonna start a bit of a competition. Ayo, as it returns to the Wuti and the FIBA, the way NBA, which has Tarsa won out of my cousin of your own Canada and the world. Mhm. Apo tanga tuku nzwa kufa kuna wa e, mujuru wanova iwo we basketball association of Zimbabwe mkuri koko. Saka varu kuti iwo e, shungu za wondeze kuti makwiku ya kanda isa rikuitwa ayakuru wanda. Agozo wani kwa wo achipa wa mkana kumazimai ni kuti parishu no tunona kuti e, jikwata jiriko 12 e, jikwata jinova kuma club e, chirume 
chete hakuna madzimai ari kutamba uye zve tikuona kana ivo vatambi ve kutambo iwe we basketball imo muno ma America ve NBA vari kutarisawo zviri kubuda iko koko Africa e, yes. e, vama juru vari kutaura ivo kuti vari kutarisira kuti vachawanikwa pachibuda nyanzi dzinozogona kunge dzichizoweo kana kuno kwa America dzichipinda mu NBA nezvimwe zvakadai Thank you Mavras so we have come to the end of our show today we wish to thank our guests uh, this evening uh, Dr Simba Mavaza who is actually a former prosecutor in Zimbabwe, uh, Mr. Ngobani Stole, who is a human rights uh, uh, lawyer based in Bulawayo. Signing off from Maryland, this is Kip Stube saying, good night, Zimbabwe. And I'm Mavlis Nklanganya, who is saying, let's meet tomorrow on Let's Talk Ngati Kurukureyi. Good night. Good night.